Hello, and welcome to Stats Race Lens. Today, we're going to go over customized pass performances and how to use templates within customized PPs in Stats Race Lens. First, to access your customized PPs, you simply click the PPs button next to whatever race you want to view. So, we're going to look at the first race at Keeneland here. So, I'll click on the PPs button. And now my pass performance is pulled up. We've already gone over the other features of customized pass performances, so this video is specifically going to look at how templates work within the program. So, first, to access your PP templates, you click the drop down menu on the top left of the page. So, you see mine says stats format. I click the drop down menu, and I see there are three sets of templates. There's expert templates, situational templates, and user templates. Expert templates are just the general way that the past performances are laid out. So stats format is the most traditional way you viewed past performances. Equibase format is the most equivalent to Equibase past performances. And then Trackmaster format is just like Trackmaster uh, past performances. Situational templates narrow down races so that you only see exactly what you want when you're looking through past performances. So let's say uh, today's exact distance on the dirt, and I only want to see races from this horse for today's exact distance on the dirt. So I click that button, and as I scroll down, you'll see that a lot of these horses' races are shaded out, but the six furlong races on the dirt are in bold um, and not shaded out like the other ones. So when I'm handicapping through here, I can really only see the races that directly apply to this. And that works the same way in the other situational templates as well. So we can, for example, do today's jockey. And we'll see that um, James Graham is on number one here. And James Graham was not on any of his previous races, so they're all shaded out. On the other hand, number two here, the Money Monster. He's ridden by Corey Lannery. Corey Lannery did actually ride him to a win three starts back. And I can see that right away without having to comb through every line of the past performances, which is why this is so useful. And then the final section here is user templates. Now you may not actually have any templates in here if you have not created anyone yet, um, but I do have a few I've created already. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So to create your own user templates, what you do is click the Customize PP button on the top right hand corner of the screen. Inside this page, you'll see the three sections we talked about before. You have your basic templates, situational, and then user templates. What I like to do is take one of the situational or basic templates and edit those uh, in order to create new user templates. So my favorite format is the stats format, so I'm gonna click the edit pencil directly next to this. And we can see um, it automatically names it as something a little bit different. And we're gonna say tutorial template, that's what we're gonna call this. And as we scroll down, we see all of the options we have to customize this template. And it is a crazy amount of options. You can make this exactly how you wanna make it. We can control number of running lines visible. So I'm gonna say I always wanna see everything. I'd rather have too much information than too little. The layoff lines, I'm gonna keep that the way they are. I'm used to it that way. For the pace, it's the leader's fractional times. You can choose between the horse's fractional times, the horse's pace figures, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to, again, stick with the leader's fractional times because that's something I'm used to. Uh, you have the specific symbols, whether when things are grayed out, it will be either grayed out or a red line through the text and stuff like that. Then we can click the next middle tab here, filter PP lines. And this controls what's filtered and what's not. So remember we talked about that situational template where uh, today's jockey was only shown. We, this is where we can control that here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, today's distance plus a little bit extra. So if it's a, a longer race, I wanna say, see if this horse can go this far or further. And, and that's why I would say today's distance plus a little bit more. I'm gonna say early pace 
within two lengths. I actually want this horse on the lead. So this section will gray out all lines that are not with where the horse is not within two lengths of the lead in a race that is today's distance or longer. And then the final tab here is create conditional format. So we'll click on that. And this is how you control what is highlighted, underlined, or circled. So you can see on the left hand side we have a bunch of different sections. It's uh, seven different sections. You got trainer, jockey, pedigree, form, class, pace, and speed figure. And then as you click through those, you'll see each of those sections has different things you can customize to circle or underline based on your preset criteria. So just as an example, we're looking at the trainer here. And you'll see with a highly above average win percentage, the text will be highlighted green and it will be underlined in green as well. Um, but let's say that's, uh, that doesn't stick out to me as much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to circle it instead. So what I'll do is go over, click the green box under circle and just click done. And now if there's a, a trainer with a highly above average win percentage, the statistic will be circled with green text. We can also activate and deactivate any of these simply by clicking the check mark on the left. So let's look at another one of these sections here. Let's, let's look at class. So right now, the only two things that are selected here is highest class rating in the field and second highest class rating in the field. But you know what? I'll actually like um, race conditions with a purse higher or equal than today's purse. So we can actually see if this horse was maybe in a, in a better race uh, previously. What we can do is click this, turn it on, and now any time that condition with a purse higher or equal than today's purse, it will be highlighted in green. Uh, but I, that, there's a lot of green going on here. You see all these circles. What I'm going to do instead is actually highlight this in a different color. So we're going to highlight it in blue. So we go over to fill color, and we're going to click blue, and click done. And now it will be highlighted in blue. When I'm done creating my template, I simply go down and click Save As. You'll see Tutorial Template has been saved. And then to try it out, um, it'll automatically take us back to the main page here. And we'll see Tutorial Template is already applied. So we can look at some of these situations here. And we'll see that only those specific situations, races are shown and the other ones are grayed out. Let's see if we can find one of those blue lines there. Yeah, so you can see this race had a higher purse than, this, uh, than the one we're in right now, and that one's highlighted in blue. So now that I'm looking through this race, I can handicap much quicker and much more efficiently. This was how to use customized past performance templates within Stats Race Lens. Have a great day, everybody.